Yes, sir. All right. What's next on the list? Khan Academy. Okay, Khan Academy. What did you find out? I've been studying on Khan Academy. I've been familiarizing myself with the website, and I'm starting to really get in depth with the program. Okay. Have you started? You guys, what I tell you to do on Khan Academy? I believe pre calculus, sir. Pre calculus, and then did I say you can study SAT on there or ACT? Which one are you going to take? Uh, the SAT, sir. Okay. Hang on. What you got, man? You can throw it outside. Just go open the door, throw it outside. So we feed the birds pancakes. So, so my little dude don't eat his pancakes so he can feed the birds. Okay. All right. Um, for the JAG research. Okay, so Khan Academy, real quick, I just, I had a flashback. Um, where are you studying for the SAT? Because don't we have a, uh, we got a time limit on the SAT you should be studying every day? Yes, sir, one hour. I have um, textbooks. Okay, you got textbooks? I, yes, sir. I also do research on the internet and find, like, ways on how I can take the SAT and be more sufficient in studying for the SAT. Okay. Did I talk to you about memory palaces last time? No, sir. Okay, so, so we're going to grow a little bit today. Okay, memory palace. There's 1,000 SAT words that you need to know. If you Google them, they're, they're out there. There's also memory palaces for them. So a memory palace is a memory technique that all of the memory champions in the world use. Basically, you place... Um, so like I'll give you an example, candor is honor, right? Yes, sir. You would take honor, uh, you might think of West Point, uh, duty, honor, country. So you would take a picture of West Point and then you would say, you make it really, really big and, and it would be really cold and you would say, okay, candor. And, you know, I'm trying to think of what candor looks like, um, Maybe Toucan Sam, right? It kind of sounds like candor. So you'd have Toucan Sam at West Point, and you would get cold as soon as you saw the picture. So then when you see candor next time, you're going to say, oh, man, you're going to get cold. Then you're going to say duty on the country, and you're going to say honor. So it's a memory technique that allows you to basically store memories in your head that you never can forget. Yes, sir. And I, and I don't – I'm pretty sure – it's the same technique, but then you would, you, so a memory palace, you place that in somewhere that you know really familiar, like your house. Um, but Google that, look at it, but they have a bunch of, I don't know what it's exactly called. I just call it all memory palace. But if you Google SAT words uh, memorization, they have most of the pictures. A lot of times I just make my own pictures for the words. Yes, sir. Okay, so you could, you can, you just got to grind. Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead. The next was the JAG research. Yep. What'd you find out? I found out that the JAGs have to go to school for four years, I believe. And then they go to law school. Okay. And then from there, they can go into the JAG courts. Okay. All right, did we find out any anything about where they go to school? Um, I don't believe there's a certain school they have to go to. As long as you earn an LLM degree. What's that? I don't know, sir. Okay, so this this where I, this where I start turning on my fire. I don't know shouldn't come out your mouth. Because here's what I'm going to say. Like, if I can Google it and it comes up, right? Now, I don't want you to spend four hours looking for what an LLC is. But I guarantee you, if you go to a pre-law class, you probably could find it real quick. Oh, sir, it's a master's of law. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? Now we got issues. How long did that take you to figure out? Two seconds. So I don't, Lord, what I want you to understand is I don't want you to answer my questions. I want you to learn what you need to know so that you can be successful. Yes, you see the difference? I do. Okay. So we're not taking a test here. 
This ain't a graded evolution. This is Laura Gilbert getting up to speed on what she needs to do to go to the Naval Academy. Does that make sense? Yes, sir, it does. So you need to look at it like this is my success. This ain't, I'm not answering questions for Jake. I need to know this stuff. So this is what, this is Laura Gilbert's learning. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Gil, Gilford, right? Yes, sir. All right, sorry about that. Okay. So you need to dig a little bit more on that. I just sent my dude a text message. Um, his wife is, we thought she was going to make general, but apparently she's going to get out. So, um, but she, they're, he's going to try to get me one of the young Jags in his office. So I just, I just hit him up. He'll get it to me next week or two and I'll get you on the phone with him. Um, the other thing you could do is you could be proactive and Google the Groton Naval Base, Google the legal department and see if they got it online and pick one of the females and call her or shoot her a nice email and have like three questions. Try not to ask more than three questions. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to turn you into a kind of a reactive 17-year-old. Uh, you 17? Yes, sir. Reactive 17-year-old in this generation that is that needs to be told a lot into a hungry wolf that runs around and just gets all their answers done and understands what they got to do to be incredibly successful. Yes, sir.